your parents. I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop! Hello everyone and welcome to another commentary video, and today's commentary is different, I'm not going to comment about TF2, even though there's one video down the line about TF2. Today, I want to make a reaction video, and let me be honest here. When I first saw this, I kind of felt like I lost all hope in humanity, and I want to jump off a bridge and kill myself, because, ah, just... Like, even the Emoji Movie trailer is better than this. I must um, be 100% honest, the Emoji Movie trailer is better than this. So, a little backstory as to what this is. As you all know, there's a show, Woody Woodpecker, it's kinda hard to not know what it is. It's extremely popular in Brazil. And even though it was really great back in release, it's still alive here in Brazil. The new Woodpecker kind of was a downhill, but it was still good. Universal thought they should stomp on the series. They should kill it once and for all. So in CCXP 2016, uh, aka Comic Con Brazil, they released a trailer, uh, a teaser actually. And in 2017, they released online a full trailer of the of the upcoming. What do you want, Becker? The film. Now, what I have against this is gonna be showed throughout the entire fucking thing, and you're gonna understand my hate because I am very passionate about Woody Woodpecker. He has been on my childhood forever now. Ever since I was little, I watched Woody Woodpecker. Now, one thing I must say: the reason I'm doing this is because it's exclusive to Brazil, and as a Brazilian. I had to watch this shit, meanwhile the rest of the world is safe from us. But I'm not gonna let myself go through all of the pain alone. I'm gonna show you, my subscribers, what we are going through. Why our cinematography is so shitty. Without further ado, this is Woody Woodpecker, the film trailer. <laughs> Oh uh, hell yeah, that's how you know it's gonna be good. Just look at the 3D model, just take a good look at it and think. We are in the year 2017 and this is the best universe it could make for the very first appearance of the next generation with a woodpecker. Yep. Olha só pra isso. Tão lindo, muito caro. Mal posso esperar pra ver com a escavadeira e começar a obra. Ninguém merece morar no meio do nada. Wow, did you see that horrible lip sync? Doesn't seem like he's talking. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, that, that's some good acting. She's definitely looking at him, don't you think? The guy is still believable, but her? Oh, she's definitely looking at him. <laughs> It doesn't even look like he's there. His landing is off, way off. He doesn't create much of a shadow enough to believe he's there. And the main aspect is no one's looking at him! If you're making a 3D character in the real world, you must make everyone be looking at him. Mainly because the character is added after the, the acting, so you or fucking up in purpose. Okay, little lesson. Back in 19 something, there was a film uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. In many of the moments, uh, Roger Rabbit was not in the sight of the actor. He, he was looking far off. But to fix that issue, the animators they made Roger Rabbit. It stretch out, being in different places, just so they were always in eye contact when they were supposed to look at each other. That's that's an ingenious thing in animation, make it look as if it was actually there. But here, it doesn't look like it's there at all. <laughs> oh hell, that, that, that acting. That acting is definitely not stale. 
He definitely hit her. They didn't even put any sound effects. Oi, amor, o pássaro. Mais querido. É esse o demônio voador do Brasil. Chega ao cinema. Ei, gatinha, você vem sempre aqui? Tem impressão minha ou ela não sabe então, negócio? Just look at that awful lip sync for a moment. Just let that sink in your head. This is 2017. This is Universal Films' best attempt in 20 fucking 17. I'm kind of having a hard time believing this is real, actually, because after after 20 years of animating, animating, animating shitty films, people learn. Like, look at Disney's newest films, the amazing 3D they have, the amazing lip sync they made in Beast, the, the Beauty and the Beast. Meanwhile, on this, Universal is like, the kids watch anything anyway, so just, just fuck it, put it there. Also, I kind of I have to say, it do, it still doesn't look like he's there. And it looks like this fucking... Whatever this is, it's photoshopped. It doesn't even look like he's there at all. I feel really sorry for this actress. I mean, she's a really great actress. I've seen a lot of her works back when I was like... 10 or something, she did amazing jobs. Her acting is excellent, probably one of the Brazil finest acting. And she's wasting her time on this. She's probably doing it for the money, I must say. Because if someone said to me, okay, you're gonna be on the Woody Woodpecker film, I'm honestly gonna do it for the money. But holy shit, even her acting plus her own dub lines aren't good. Her lip sync is still off, even though she's fucking Brazilian! She has! She knows how to make lip sync fit into the dub. It's this ex. One, th one other thing. If this is a fucking exclusive to Brazil, why don't they the only hire Brazilian people? Half of the casting is American. She's literally the only Brazilian actress. And it's obviously only to attract the Brazilian fans. But big question is, since it's only exclusive to Brazil, why the fuck not just hire Brazilian people? It, you wouldn't have the voice line problems, you wouldn't have lip sync problems, you even have much better public because you'd be making something 100% ex exclusive, made and exclusive to Brazil. It, sh it shove away all the shitty films we have. Sorry for ringing so much, but fucking Jesus. Yeah, it looks definitely like he's there. I just might say, I have to say, the lightning in on him, I don't know what the fucking, what the fuck's the problem, but it's always off. And he always looks glossy. I, I don't know why, but he does. And his shadow is barely visible. Again, the lip sync is fucking awful. And again, doesn't even look like he's there. I think these animators really should get a better budget so they can put more effort into it. Muita confusão. <laughs> okay, before I go, go on my full critic, let's go a little down in the comments, see what people think. You are murdering the child of millions of Brazilians! I think that's the best line. This shit's so horrible that makes the minions in the emoji movie seem beautiful alternatives. Also, one thing I like to mention is the fact that 
none of the classic uh, Woody Woodpecker characters are in the film. None of them are present. Uh, Isaac Horubu is not there. None of the classic characters are. So if you're having any hopes to see the classic characters, even his nephews, just forget it. It's just Woody Woodpecker. Well, just well, I'm gonna end up the video here. If you guys enjoy, leave a like, or and please subscribe. Um, I'll have a new TF2 coming very soon. So see you next video. Bye bye.